guys welcome back to my channel thanks again for stopping by i am going to do the brand new christmas tag of 2019 i can't remember who started this tag up i want to say it was lara jarvis and kerry weltdale i'm sure i did the christmas tag last year but there's some brand new questions in here this year so i thought i would yeah just do it and let you know favorite christmas foods dislikes all that kind of stuff favorite christmas songs yeah so if you're interested then please keep watching and please subscribe while you're over here i have finally reached <laughs> the 4k milestone i know it seems so small to some but um you have to celebrate every milestone so anyway rambling on to the christmas tag so question number one is what is your favorite christmas movie and i would have to say it is uh, a miracle on 34th street uh, not the old old one because i believe there's like a really old one but you know the one with matilda in it although she's not matilda in it but you know what i mean <laughs> same girl can't think of her name now um but yeah i absolutely love love that film whenever i watch it i always get the christmas feels it just makes me feel really good and like the whole magic of santa and believing in santa is just amazing so yeah that would be my top christmas film Although close second, I would probably say it's probably going to be everyone's, one of everyone's favourite is Love Actually. That is just amazing. Such a great feel-good film. I love all the different stories. I love how everybody is kind of connected and each of the different love stories. Yeah, it's just so nice. I love it. So yeah, Miracle on 34th Street and then close second would be Love Actually. Uh, question number two is where are you spending Christmas this year? We're actually spending Christmas at home in our house um, because there's so many of us <laughs> and having to pack up for a whole day, you know, nappies, milks, pyjamas, all that kind of stuff. And then I always feel bad that we're like, Merry Christmas, open all your new toys, but you can't play with them because we have to go out. I always feel really bad when that happens. So yeah, this year we're gonna spend it at home. We're gonna eat um, by ourselves, so just the six of us. And then my dad and possibly my brother are gonna come over late afternoon, early evening for like nibbles um, to see the boys. And it's really difficult as well because obviously, both our parents have split so we've got like extra families and it's really difficult around this sort of time of year especially when you've got your own family because you want everybody to see the boys um, and it's just not always possible so yeah it's really difficult we end up having like loads of different Christmases with loads of different families so yeah sometimes it's just easier to just stay here and then throughout the whole of the Christmas period just let people come and visit um, the boys it just it's just so much easier that way so what is your least favorite christmas food i'm a really fussy eater so i don't think i really have a least favorite because i like all food really but i guess if i had to choose one it would probably be christmas pudding if i had to choose one then yeah christmas pudding would be the one for me <laughs> Okay, next question is, what's on your Christmas wish list? Nothing really. This is going to sound really corny and you guys are going to be like, oh my God, there must be something that you want out there. But I feel, genuinely feel like I've got everything that I would love and I would like. You know, lovely home, clothes, the boys, Dan, like our health. Genuinely feel like I don't want anything. If I had to pick one and if somebody said, I'll give you one Christmas wish, it's got to be something like material, I had a magic wand and was like, I can give it to you now, it would be wardrobes. That is it. Like literally, the boys need wardrobes in both bedrooms and we need wardrobes because we've just still got open rails, which looks cool because you have to keep it tidy, but it's just not ideal. So yeah, I guess if I had to choose something, because I know you guys aren't gonna like my answer of, I've got everything already, <laughs> it would be wardrobes next question is what's the first thing you do on christmas day so the first thing that me and dan do on christmas day is we wake up before the boys i know because they get up so early but we wake up and we come down and turn all of the fairy lights on the tree lights like all of the other lights that we've got we um just turn them on just to make it look christmassy and feel like magical so that when they come downstairs it's like all twinkly and yeah do you wear your best on Christmas Day or comfies? 
always wear your best on Christmas Day. It happens once a year. Um, so yeah, I think wearing your best on Christmas Day is a must. I think I would only wear my comfies if I was like really poorly or something like that. But we do stay in our pyjamas in the morning while we open our presents and stockings and um, have breakfast, that kind of thing. But when we get showered and dressed for the day, it's always in our best. Okay, next question is, do you like Brussels sprouts? Yes, I do like Brussels sprouts actually. As I said earlier, I'm not really fussy. I'm not a fussy eater. I probably eat everything. And I actually think they're alright. I don't think they've got much of a taste to them. So yeah, I like Brussels sprouts, especially covered in cheese sauce. <laughs> That's definitely the best way to eat them. <laughs> okay, and do you set a budget for Christmas? Yes, we do have a budget for Christmas. Dan and I don't really tend to for each other. We don't go crazy though, like literally one thing, maybe two, but it's not huge things like they're just like a top or something or an outfit that we've seen that we liked um, but yeah we do for the boys obviously there's four of them so it can get quite expensive although I really don't think it should be at all to be honest because it's just one day but I do know the pressure of social media can get everybody a bit down and kind of make you feel like you have to go crazy but yeah we do have a budget for each child it's not huge we get them things that they can kind of all play with uh, even though they're individual presents so yeah I guess we kind of get our money's worth sort of thing and because we've got four boys they can be used like four times over so yeah we do set a budget and we do stick to it it's not a huge budget we don't go crazy but then what's crazy because our crazy could be like normal to somebody else or vice versa we don't get ourselves into debt over Christmas because that's just really silly I don't feel like we need to I think so long as you've got good food around you family you know loved ones everyone's happy I just think that's it isn't it that's what Christmas is all about <laughs> cute i always feel like i ramble in these kind of videos because i go off on a bit of a tangent and, <laughs> and all i need to do is answer the question so oh, yeah. okay next question is what is your favorite christmas song gosh i've got quite a few i absolutely love michael buble's christmas album i have it on repeat and uh, i think it's just called christmas you know the song that goes christmas the snow's falling down christmas lots of people around christmas i think it's called christmas but that one really gets me in the mood i love that song and also this is going to be everyone's answer as well but how can you not like mariah carey all i want for christmas i think that once that plays on the radio then you're okay to get your decorations up because I think that is when you know Christmas has started. <laughs> okay, last question. Is New Year's Eve in or out? I would say in, always. Even before we had children, New Year's Eve in, for sure. Yeah, it's just a bit overrated, I think. Like, I know it's a new year. Everyone's like, new year, new me. I'm going to set all these new goals and, um, you know, better myself. But actually, I think we've had a pretty cool year. And if my next year is... The same as this year, I'd be really happy. Yeah, we're usually in bed. Sometimes we stay up and, and see <laughs> the new year in, but sometimes we don't. We've got four kids and half of them don't sleep. So we'll have a little toast. We'll probably have a nice little dinner or something. But yeah, definitely in. That is it. That is the end of the questions. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've done this tag. Direct me over to your video because I'd love to see your answers as well. Or if you don't have a channel and you want to join in, then leave me your answers down below. I'd love to read them and see what your Christmas is like. Anyway, I hope you all have a really, really lovely Christmas and a very happy new year. Thank you so much for all of your support this year on my channel. As I said earlier, I finally reached my end of year goal, which was 4K. So I am really, really, really pleased please if you follow me over here and you don't follow me over on instagram i'll leave my handle here somewhere so i'd love for you to go over and follow me over there i'm almost at my end of year goal <laughs> so close yet so far away i know it's not about the numbers for me but i think every milestone should be celebrated and i think the fact that 4,000 of you follow me over here and watch my daily life of the boys and stuff just really amazes me so thank you so much happy new year merry christmas love to you all Goodbye.